Hey guys, Will Frank here. On uh, this video for Fire Emblem Heroes, we're going to look at the new banner that's going to drop by tomorrow as of recording this, which is the 13th of September. On um, as you can kind of see, we have the four units are all from Fire Emblem Fits Conquest. Though you probably say when I zoom in a bit, and it's Ophrenia, Nina, Silas, and and Floria, and Flora. Uh, and everything else here is just going to sort of confer kind of what each. Is going to be considered on and the end of this video. I'm going to make a prediction on who is going to drop into the four star pool. So, take interest with everything I just said. And this is all personal opinion. And if you guys are for, want to give your personal opinions, feel free because I'm very keen to hear what you want to say as well as who you're going for a spawner. Here, so also in order of the releases of the red shutter show it off. Also, we have a Grand Hero Bottle, just before I kind of get into the unit, two things. Grand Hero Bottle, which is Gan Ganoff, a Grown, yeah, I think it's Grown, and he is coming a little dead, I can't remember the date in mind, but keep that mind, mind, and on the, this is completely non-fire emblem, but Tales of Spuria, the Final Edition got released it. it, I'm looking forward to it, so it's back to kind of quick. Me playing that game on the day it comes out, prefer to get it on the day, but it's in January and I'm just glad it's we have the announce. We get the release date and stuff, and we may get more information as time goes by. So let's actually get and kind of get into the brief sort of conditions characters here. So we have Orphania, who is a blue tome infantry unit, uh, which actually I can't remember, it's I'm not sure, how, I think it's Tars, but was our last blue tome unit, imagery unit. I have to check the re recheck the matters, but if you guys want to correct me on that one, go right ahead. Like I said, like blue tome imagery unit. So I do think Ishtar was the last one. So so it could be interesting to see how this comes out. So her skills come out pretty distinct. Thing. So we have missile. Missile 10, which is a Mike 14 range 2, obviously. Excel special cooldown and starter's turn 1 grants special cooldown minus 1 for each magic ally on your team, including herself. And that's actually kind of interesting for a lot of reasons, because if you go full of magic, you could take away right and go fully into that, or you could probably do a few other stuff. Obviously, it's rally attack plus, so grants attack plus six to target ally and allies within space of target, excluding unit for one turn. So she is not getting the attack buff, but this is kind of where things go above and beyond. On her skill will be blazing light for unit that's just combat. But foe in the area uh, near target still takes damage equal to 1.5 of unit. And it's attack minus foes resistance or defense. So obviously you might want to trade that in for Moonbow, which is right across, so fair enough. No. Or Iceberg could be a very distinct sort of replacement, but who knows? Which again, this is all right before her release, and so we can we can't just work we have to work with that. She has 30 bolt two. Which is when unit initiates combat, grants attack, defense plus four during combat, which is pretty interesting considering how we have start. I think the last sturdy blow we have is attack, defense plus two. Again, I'm trying to remember it all the top of my head, and I don't want to go searching for it. But no, no, I think it's for fine. No, if, no, no, I remember. No, and chill red. So seven turn flex mana set seven resistance on foe. Anything but the highest resistance for its next action. So the one thing I wanted to kind of point out, no, it is, and it's kind of why these four are here, is her missile team. Team, uh, the reason why you may theoretically want to switch it to a Moonbow or Iceberg is you can have a special plus two and maybe get an additional attack. Now you can always miss half the standard ones like a blind Olivia. Uh, Lene and stuff like that. Or you can go with these four, which are magic Tomias and could work pretty well. So you've got Shigure, who, who, who under his stat, who's a blue tome, 
Dancer. And my phone disconnected out of my thing, so... Out of my laptop. I'm sorry if you guys heard that. But he provides Geiger Dance, which is the attack... Which is defense and resistance plus four, which is actually pretty good. Good. Alternative. And, of course, Blue Tomb Fowler, but that's... Which actually works hand-in-hand hand with just getting her stats up. So if you have to have the Shiger Shigure, that's a good choice. That's a good choice, especially when you want to train her up, that you can give her one that instant one turn. Turn one, say, Moonbow, or maybe to cheapen up uh, Blazing Light. But put personally, I consider... Of course, you have Indigo, who be the alternative, Green Toe. Dancer, whose dance is... The skill dance, so it's speed. So I don't know what you guys think we bring up the speed. And of course we have Nit Lydian who's a flying blue tome. Support pretty much can go very quickly around here. And she comes burning, I believe, in her dance as well. No, she comes with chill attack and spur speed. So that could be an interesting sort of part to her. Or of course you can pick Makaya, just set out to destroy those armors and cavalier units with her Dawn Don Sisu. Suzu, sorry, Suzu. So, and of course, she has the five your storm dance, which is a which is a attack and res to pair up with her already attack defense. So she can actually have a lot of attack going in, going through that. Then next we have Nina, yeah, who will be our bow user, sir, so, and she she comes with shiny bow, shiny bow, which is an, if her defense. If foe's defense is more than than foe's res plus is five, I think that steals seven damage. So if foe's defense is higher by five, I think I'm not sure how that is probably trying to say, but I think that's the case. If I'm wrong, let me know. So she comes with straw back, and of course the aforementioned moonbow. Well, Moon will probably work for her if you can give maybe give her say a slain bow or a way to charge up bow speed. The charges just stop by chance. Then we have speed res link free to go with her drawback. If a movement assist skill like repetition job is used, use grant speed and use unit or target grant speed resistance plus six to the unit and target ally or unit. Need a target ally for one turn. I actually can't remember the word even I got. And she comes up both Fowler. So if you didn't have, if you never had the love bounds, bounds Roy, then this would be a nice alternative. And this is end the pole camp, apparently. So you can go. So that's pretty much a best keep. Not bad. I'm actually going. I have no complaints about that. Then we have Silas, who is our our red. I'm sorry, our blue Lance Cavalier unit. And uh, he is probably the last. This is exciting. And you can kind of just see Fiora's just like a big freaking wall of attacks. I almost look into a Yu Gi Oh card in some, in some ways. Although I pre think, although I did check the Reddit and somebody did that. So props to that dude from Reddit. Oh, and I got this image off Reddit. And, and these are all off game pre game press. This and of course the video is directly from the set from the heroes paid channel. So all props to everybody who did. So a slain spear here, which is effective with armor, bows, root position, stays down three, and even the fence three. He is basically built in the fence, especially on the even turns when the foes attacking. He has essentially plus twelve defense. And it's, it's, it's all right, but compared to the others, so and our last one, probably, I mean, the least, the least impressive one, and is probably more common to go into the Warsaw Pole. I said, uh, Orphidia could, but it's all, it's all fairy. And of course, we have Flora, who is a red throwing dagger unit. That is actually the first, and that is a common one. So and if, and I'm pretty sure this that's just staying five stars like Hanstone and I believe Nina will also stay at the five stars. 
But here is the big line attack, so I'm going to try to read as much as I can with like the thing being broken with the cops in the recording of the like in the audio, I'm pretty sure it's happening. But anyway, the Horfrost knife knife. A sales special could die. And it sells special triggers if unit combat's full with sword, lance, axe, or dragon stone. Grants defense plus 20 during combat. If full counter, unit is guaranteed a follow up attack. So that is actually pretty. And of course, after combat, if unit attacks, inflict like defense resistance minus 7 on target and foes in two spaces, the target through their next action. So, this encounter is being countered by this knife. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just set for Hector, personally. We need the legend, the free axe versions. Uh, Brave, Brave Hector isn't going to get affected just yet. But for all we, but then again, with the rest of the skills, maybe not. I mean, if Iceberg, and this is kind of why this video's going up, I'm, I'm pretty sure that but this we can calculate her neutral resistance IV, which is going to play with her defense ploy. Okay, so it is boost damage by 50% of units res. So when I was again noticing this trailer, her damage right now is 27. You leave me no choice. So when we do this, the damage jumps up to 49. So I can assume that that be because that's 50%. The damage is obviously. Her resistance is 22 other than, and, and of course, doubling that is 44. So her space resistance is on neutral IPs, 44 on zone. So I guess the boon of that will make her resistance probably 47, and a beam would be 41, just off the top of my head. So that's a bit of a wild guess, but who knows? But then again, oh, right. Maybe not, actually, now that I think about that. So if you, because then they have attack res solo, which is if you need, it's not adjacent to ally grants attack res plus six. I sort of, I forgot about that completely. That is a new skill. So in this case, it would be, be it, give me a second. Let me do, let me do the calculation. Jin's. If the damage, and if that was actually, and that was accurate, then it'd be either 38 with allies and 44 on our own. That is very, we'll have to figure out when the banner, when the also gets, when that also comes out, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to check the banner and stuff because I'm going to be away for the week, for a week, and I will probably be back when the new banner sort of jumps around. So yeah, so yeah, it's either going to be 38 base or 44 base. I that's just the wild guess because that attack defense plus six is for me off. Yeah, it would be just attack defenses plus six. Okay. Then we have cooker push three and then the plans defense point three. So if unit is above standard you stand and full initiative combat, unit is guaranteed to make a follow up attack. And defense point three is at the start of turn, effective defense attack on foes in cardinal direction if resistance is below the unit's resistance for the next action. And of course, bound here is just a nice little attack pictures. Here's so overall, I don't find the banner too bad, and like I said, the defense, the attack, res, solo, is the thing that's going to screw me up. And said back at the beginning, out of the four units, I might the one I'm pretty sure is going to be mostly like a guaranteed is Silas. I don't see much, although his even defense wave could probably keep him there. I can see, I'm definitely seeing Nina stand out because Bo Valor and how much IS just values the Valor, the Valor skills being stuck into the 5 star. I mean, Marvel still, still there. There, and I can't remember, I can't remember if there's any other 5 star Valor or experience 
and skills at the top. None is coming to the right top of my head. Alternatively, Alfrenia could end up hitting the four star, but this is, like I said, this is all hype effect. Medical stuff, and of course, I've seen, and of course, you can use these with Orphinia so she can have some decent stuff. But that is all just my opinion, and just an overview of the units and how I'm going with it. What do you guys think of the new units? Are you inter Are you going for the new? Are these, is there any particular one of these four units you'd be going with? I'm pretty sure everyone's going to go with Flora. Flora, is there, is there one of these four, which one of the four do you think is going to drop down to the four star? Cool, because I'm a lot more curious myself, and as far as I'm pretty sure that's a special video. The next Fire Emblem video, Heroes video I'm going to be doing is ultimately going to be in about, I'm going to say the Mon, not this Monday, but the Monday after. No, I mean when the new Bonners kind of flow out, and I'll get all my opinions on the new Bonners and all the new Adult 7, because tomorrow I'm going to do Essentially, Dokkan 70 video, which is going to be the LR Goku Frieza. I am pretty sure I'm not going to walk out with an LR on that one, but who knows. Alright, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye.